Okay, so moving on to number three. Now we're starting to get into some interesting territory because we could take this a couple different directions. We could go another compressor, uh, we could go with another EQ, but I think it's kind of time we start branching out because if we're following our signal chain so far, we've went with an API, which has that fast compressor. So that kind of eliminates the need to go with an 1176. Now, if you, because um, a classic vocal chain is you use an 1176 and you use an LA-2A, you combine those two and you kind of get this really snappy, like pop vocal, which sounds really good. But you can achieve this similar effect with the API and something like an LA-2A. And you also get that gate that sounds really good if you use it the right way. You've got your EQ built into that. So already we have a really good signal chain built. So now we're gonna wanna start getting into some effects. And this third pick is something that I think is very, very valuable and it's absolutely so easy to use and it sounds so good. It's a no brainer. The third pick is gonna be the suppressor. Now, if you don't know what this is, this is a de -esser. basically all the de -esser does is think of it kind of similar to a compressor where it's just focus on a few select frequencies, which is typically going to be in that really high range where all the sibilance or the really like SE part comes from when a singer sings. This is going to have a huge impact on the voice and it's incredibly easy to use. All you do is you set your threshold and you move it to whichever frequency band that you want. And just like that, you can get an incredible result. Now you can dive in even further and you can get even more technical with this particular plugin, but even just right there is gonna have such a profound impact that your vocals are gonna sound that much better. Okay, so I feel like this is a good jumping off point. 